everybody, Fabio Well. Today I will read from Archivio number 10, Object Lessons. Jasper Morrison wrote, Forget about time, forget about place, forget about type, material, value, quality or condition. An archive can be anything you want it to be. There are no rules. From the Italian Round Archive to the Austrian State Archive, there are different levels of formality too. An archive might be relevant to all but one person, or appreciated by many. Apart from an assortment of boxes containing photos, letters and postcards, I have three archives in my studio. The biggest one is of the design work carried out over the past few decades. Another one, under construction, is for memories. When I remember an event, something significant that happened to me or near me, I try to put it into a long chronological list of other events to capture them before they escape. The third archive we keep is made up of one example of each of the products that we have ever sold at the small shop attached to the studio. The reason this one is worthwhile is that not many institutions concerning the past pay attention to everyday items, casalinghi, as they say in Italy. Museums, other than ethnological ones, mostly collect important objects, valuable examples of craftsmanship owned by kings and nobles, stored over centuries, unloved and unused in castle corridors. They have typically and unfortunately ignored the more interesting category of things that have been used on an everyday basis. To make matters worse, the small shops which sell such things are disappearing along with all the small manufacturers which used to make these goods, replaced by monumental shipping container deliveries of cheap Chinese-made, bubble-packed alternatives. Sadly, these have none of the character of the more diverse range of offerings that used to, and in rare cases still do, hang wired to graphically enjoyable and strangely shaped printed panels of cardboard, or, more simply, displayed in boxes or in shelves. On the following pages, I have assembled an imaginary archive of everyday objects from different places, made at different times, related by character perhaps, or a shared understanding of what it is to be an object. Subjective, you say? Certainly. But, as all good objects are related by the common goal of human intention to make something both useful and beautiful, and one good object can fit the creation of another. These combinations may also be intersubjective, and even objective if you believe, like me, that these things choose each other. Ask for Archivio at your local bookstore, and if you are in Milan, head to Fraps. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.